If you want to compete with the very best in esports, then it's obvious that you need to make the most out of your training so that you can improve as fast as possible. Top competitors in all esports are always looking for the latest methods and techniques to grow their skills. They constantly need to stay one step ahead of other teams and as a result are always seeking new ways to optimize their training. This is why most pro teams now prioritize things like diet and fitness plans, things that gamers in the past never even thought about. And the result is an ever increasing level of performance. But one of the greatest optimizations that pro players have discovered is sports psychology. Top esports teams have hired psychologists to help their team stay more level-headed during training and performance. But this is not just in regards to maintaining their mental health, but also enhancing their rate of improvement and the results in competition. But you don't need to be a pro to benefit from performance psychology. With one simple tactic, you might be able to boost your performance results by as much as 14% in just 5 days. Now, before we dive into this, let's consider how important reaction time is, especially when it comes to your performance. Now, Every team fight, gunfight, or 1v1 battle of any kind will come down to speed. How quickly and accurately can your mind respond versus the enemy's mind? Of course, if you are even a few milliseconds too slow, then your enemy will completely destroy you. Fortunately, we can use this one tactic in specific ways to improve your reaction speed so that you can get that advantage and come out on top of more fights. But before we learn how to do that, it's important to know why this tactic works in the first place. Researchers have found that simply closing your eyes and imagining yourself in game-specific scenarios can significantly decrease your stress levels, boost your memory, and improve competitive performance. And it's not just researchers who believe in it. 70 to 90% of elite athletes already use this technique. This includes gold medal Olympians like Michael Phelps, UFC fighters like Conor McGregor, and basketball stars like LeBron James who all use this method to get an advantage. Now of course what I'm referring to is something called visualization, and if you're familiar with it, great, you're still going to learn something new in this video. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry. But the unfortunate truth with visualization is that even though it sounds easy, it's not. Many who try to use visualization tend to do it wrong and thus, they never really experience the full benefits of it. But if you can learn to apply it effectively in your own practice, then you can use it to learn faster and prime your brain for better performance in ranked games and tournaments. So let's dive deep into one of performance psychology's best kept secrets. Alright, so how exactly does visualization work? How can it lead to faster reaction speed and make you an overall better gamer? Well, MRI studies show that when we imagine seeing specific objects and imagine ourselves performing certain actions, it actually lights up the exact same areas of the brain associated with doing those behaviors. It's as though we're actually seeing that object and or performing that task. So, how might this apply to your performance when you're playing a high-stress ranked match or tournament? Well, why is it that we get nervous in the first place when playing in a new environment or playing at a higher level? Why is it that intense ranked games can get you so stressed? Why is it that playing in online tournaments causes you to get a little bit jittery? Well, psychologists believe that experienced players will typically have developed these kind of coping mechanisms for dealing with the pressure of playing in, say, high-pressure situations. These coping mechanisms allow them to keep their cool and maintain laser-like focus during almost any competition. But this ability can take years to develop. Fortunately, it doesn't have to for you. Researchers have found that athletes who use visualization and imagery on a regular basis can develop these coping mechanisms faster and typically have 15% lower stress levels overall. So, before an intense ranked game or tournament, use visualization to mentally prepare yourself. Using imagery, simulate the feelings of anxiety that you'd experience during the competition. Immerse yourself in the competitive environment through your imagination, including all your five senses. Then really try to remember those feelings of sweaty palms, clenched shoulders, 
fast heart rates or how you typically experience that mind game anxiety. You can then train for those situations by calming yourself down through breathing slowly and deeply, using affirming self-talk and running through the game plan in your mind. Being able to then lower those anxiety levels in your mind will allow you to do so easier during the real competition. But visualization isn't just used for reducing anxiety and making you more confident. It can also be used to improve your reaction time. Now, consider pros who seem to have this sort of inhuman reaction. They're able to dodge attacks with lightning reflexes, able to click heads before the enemy even sees them, and seem to outplay almost anyone. It's obvious that those moments of insane reaction time can make all the difference between winning a major competition or falling short when it matters most. And research on visualization and imagery shows us that after just two weeks of practicing it for just 15 minutes a day, athletes showed improvements in reaction time more than seven times those who didn't use it. Their performance also showed improvements of 137 times greater than those who didn't use visualization. Now, imagine just how quickly you could improve your game by making it a regular habit for yourself. But this sounds too good to be true, so it's interesting to dive into how this actually works. And the reason it works so well is that imagery simulates and strengthens the same neural pathways associated with you playing the game. And the more that these neurons and these specific pathways of your mind fire together, the more you'll be wired to execute difficult plays with less effort. And this is great news because if your competition isn't using this technique and you are, then it puts you at a massive advantage over them and helps you rise up those ranks a lot faster. But before we dive into how to visualize most effectively, there's one last question that we need to answer if you want to get the full benefits out of this technique. And that question is when should you use it? Now, this question is much more important than you might think. For example, most visualization research focuses on using it before a performance in order to reduce that pre-game anxiety or boost your confidence. Thus, it makes sense that we should be using it before our games, right? Well, research on meditation might give insight as to why we should use it afterwards. In a study on motor skill learning, they found that participants improved their reaction speed over 20% better when they had meditated after their training. Now, the reason that this seemed to be so effective is that after we practice something, there's a period of time when our brain attempts to solidify that learning in our mind. It's kind of like giving wet cement the time to dry. And other research on memory shows that our mind consolidates new skills and memory by replaying that same memory over and over again. So, in order to speed up your learning and reaction speeds, what if you combined this research on meditation with a visualization practice? The result is likely far better reaction speed and skill development. So when should you be visualizing? Before or after your games and training? Well, it really depends on your goal. If you're engaging in high intensity competitions and want to prime your brain for optimal performance, then visualization before is still a great idea. But in all cases where you want to learn and improve your skills, consider doing it afterwards as well. The benefits are worth that extra time. But like I said earlier, most people don't visualize properly. And the unfortunate truth is that if you don't do it right, you'll miss out on all of these amazing benefits that we talked about. So here's a quick crash course on how to visualize effectively. First, sit somewhere comfortable in a quiet room, preferably your bedroom so that you can be completely alone. Secondly, close your eyes and imagine a gaming scenario using all five of your senses. Use your imagination to picture the screen in front of you, the color of the lights in the room, and the other fine details that you see on, say, the lobby menu before launching a competitive match. Next, imagine the things that you would physically feel while you're playing that game, such as the feeling of the mouse in your right hand, the feeling of the keys under your left, and feel how your headphones lightly hug against your ears as well. 
After that, focus on imagining the things that you'd hear just before starting the rounds. Would you hear your coach or teammates going over tactics just before the round starts? What do their voices sound like and what kind of things would they say? It's unlikely that you'd associate a specific smell or taste to your gaming experience, but if you do, then be sure to imagine that as well. For example, you might specifically chew gum before you play a competitive match. If that's true, then as you're imagining this, you'd probably want to imagine that as well. Now, the key is to use imagery to simulate real life performance experiences using your imagination as accurately as possible. FMRI studies show that when we do this, the motor cortex in our brains fire almost exactly as if we're performing in real life. And this suggests that we can practice and improve our motor skills for competition by simply just imagining them in realistic detail. It isn't enough to do this just once though. By visualizing for just a few minutes per day, you will further strengthen the neural pathways that your brain uses for your esports. This is why visualization training leads to difficult skills becoming automatic and accurate even when under pressure. The best esports athletes are usually the ones who are the best at preparation. It's very rare for high performers to be able to just jump into games and dominate on the big stage without having to put in those insane hours of preparation in the months leading up to the event. Anyone who's fought their way to the top will tell you how much of a struggle it was to get there and that they needed so much more than their natural talent to carry them up. If you're aspiring to be just like these guys and you think you have what it takes to make it to that pro scene, then you owe it to yourself to invest just a few minutes per day into this basic habit. As soon as this video ends, I want you to close your eyes and dive into the next big match using your imagination. Spend just five minutes mentally taking yourself through the game. Watch yourself making plays, overcoming possible challenges, and winning with laser-like focus. Then when that game ends, do a mental recap and rehearsal walking through that game in your mind's eye. So as you continue to reap these benefits of pre-game and post-game visualization, you will develop a greater and greater advantage against most other players. Hey guys, I hope you absolutely love this video. And if you want more like this from the channel, then you're gonna have to turn on the notifications and drop a like on the video. I'm not saying that for my sake, I'm saying that because the YouTube algorithm will never show your videos again if you don't do those. And if you're curious about improving your skills a lot faster or even becoming a professional gamer, then I recommend checking out our course and bootcamp. The content in each of those are not the kind of things that you're gonna find on YouTube. So if you're very serious about making it in esports and you're very passionate about that idea of becoming a pro gamer, then it's definitely worth your time. Together, they'll teach you everything that you need to accelerate your skills faster and even build a pro career in esports. And both will teach you a lot of information that most other players in the industry never really learn. So when you start trying out for teams and teaching them your new approach to improving, they'll probably think you're a genius. But anyways, I hope you guys love this video. I hope it helps you a ton on your esports journey. And I'll see you all in the next video.